Happy National Scrapbook Day, friends. I am so excited to be here with you using the new Blue Skies collection from Close to My Heart, which is a special collection release for National Scrapbook Month. Now I have the entire collection here as well as a favorite photo that I can't believe I haven't scrapped yet. And I'm so excited to get going with this layout. The first piece of paper that really speaks to me is this uh, rainbow design. So I have an idea. Uh, to create a sunshine background using this rainbow paper and some other of the pattern papers from the collection. So I've already cut my sun out and I'm just using a ruler and my pencil. I'm going old school here to make my rays, you guys. Now some of these rays I'll be able to cut using my trimmer, which is uh, my Fiskars trimmer that I love. You can also find it in the Close to My Heart catalog. Uh, but some of them, because of the length of them, I'm gonna have to use my scissors. So I'm just winging that here. And I'm starting with teal right in the middle because it's that bold pop of color right in the middle. And then I'm going to choose a few designs that are a little bit uh, less bright and bold. I definitely know that I want to use blue for behind my photo to give it that contrast that it needs. I really like this green pattern and there is a lot of green in my photo. So I am doing my next ray here. I'm using my first one as a template to see how far away I want my second ray. So Really simple, easy to do, nothing complicated here you guys, just a straight edge and some scissors and you can create a really cool customized background. And the thing I love about it is that it's showing off all of these gorgeous patterns in this Blue Skies collection and creating a really um, kind of bespoke background. So I have these two patterns here. I'm going to do, this is a multicolor, which I really like, but because it has that white background, it's uh, much more tone on tone with my background cardstock. So I'm doing two different rays with this one. First, I'm gonna cut off the manufacturer strip because if you guys have ever purchased Close to My Heart collections before, you know that those are awesome to use. They always have some great designs and patterns on there. So please don't forget about those. Don't ever throw those away. So here we go. Let me just build up these layers here. I have to remember where I'm putting them. And then I want, because I have that bold color in the middle, I want to do two more bold colors on the outside edges. So I'm going to go with this pink plaid, which is super fun and that yellow dot. So the yellow dot is gonna be kind of a tiny sliver right at the bottom. It's almost straight, just has a tiny little angle to it. So that one's easy to cut with my trimmer. It's kind of hard when you think about trying to make your paper not uh, straight with the trimmer, but you kind of have to do that here with this one. I love that daisy. Uh, border design on that one too. That one's a keeper for sure. So see there I have three different really bold colors and three uh, kind of tone on tone uh, white background patterns there. So really love how that background is turning out. Now for my photo I really want to mat that in a few different designs. Now these cardstocks are embossed. You can see that embossed design there and they are just so super cool. So I want to use that for sure. There's a lot of green in my paper. So I want a bit of green but not too much. So I'm going to turn to this patterned uh, green again and just use a sliver of that. Before I do that I'm going to go ahead and adhere all of uh, my rays down and then I'm going to focus on my photo. So I have those two layers there and also the green. I'm going to place my photo at an angle every time uh, just so that there's a little bit of interest. It makes it also a lot more, um, what's the word I'm going for here? casual. So it's more casual, more playful when you do that. So that green, I'm making that layer straight. 
and it is like an eighth of an inch you guys it's just really small just so you can get that touch of green on the outside and that bit of white and it makes it look really fabulous so I am measuring this cardstock which ugh, you guys have to get your hands on this cardstock it is so cool just these uh, really cool embossed patterns on the background are awesome and then I'm going to use dimensional adhesive here. This is by uh, Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L. And I'm going to pop those top layers onto that embossed cardstock. Now look how that photo really stands out because I used all that contrast with the navy blue. So that turned out perfectly. Okay, I'm grabbing the embellishments I have on hand from the Blue Skies collection. I have uh, the stamp and this sticker sheet, which I just just love. It's amazing. Um, this is what gave me the idea for the sunshine in my background. It's this Hello Sunshine title. Pretty perfect. I'm using this We Are Memory Keepers uh, powder. Um, what, what What is this called? It's like a, <laughs> it's like a powder. Um, I'm gonna have to look it up. It'll be in the link in my in my profile notes, you guys. But it it literally just um, helps you to add baby powder, just a small amount, to the back of a stamp. And you're gonna see me use that over and over again, because I always change things around when I'm creating. If you're anything like me, it takes you a while to just get the perfect uh, arrangement of things. And so I like to de-stick my stickers. Uh, and make sure that I'm getting them exactly where I want them before I ruin a photo or a piece of pattern paper or anything like that. Um, I find that this little applicator works really well with smaller things. When I get to the bigger things, then I'll grab my uh, travel size baby powder bottle. And I'll show you that in just a few minutes. Um, but there are so many amazing stickers on this sticker sheet. So this is definitely going to have to be my journaling tag and that's what I'm going to grab the baby powder travel bottle for it's just a Johnson & Johnson travel bottle you can get them at like Walgreens or CVS Target whatever in the travel section and you just you know use that I think I've had it for years and it's still going strong I want a colorful piece up here that incorporates all of the colors in the layout so I'm grabbing this kite which is pretty darn perfect and I'm going to have that tail uh, go on my photo corner. Lots of layering here. I really love um, having things on top of each other. It just makes it so much more interesting. So don't be afraid to, you know, layer things above, below um, your your other pieces. Now this piece of paper is awesome because you can cut apart all of these really fun sayings and I really love the pink hooray here. So I'm going to do a quick cut out of that and then I'm going to go back with my fine scissors and just go around that quite closely. I like to use a white border all the time when I cut things out. I don't like to cut out exactly because when you see you know a sticker sheet or a die cut pack you they have white borders on them and so I want it to look just like that. Um, this little red heart red and pink heart is perfect because I only have one spot of red on my layout in the kite and I want to create a little um, triangle of red there too. So there's a little phrase sticker here. I am loving this which is great. I'm going to put that somewhere over there and I'm going to make a line so I can add my journaling, get that measured I've already added my journaling. It's uh, right on there. I did that using Photoshop Elements and my printer. And then I'm going to use this stamp set to add some banners. So I'm using Lagoon here, then Canary. And lastly, I'm going to use candy apple so I can get that third element of red on my layout. These stamp just so beautifully, um, so crisp and clear. And you guys know I love my Close to My Heart inks. If you haven't watched my 
close to my heart ink video, go in my feed and find that. It's just about why I love close to my heart inks. Um, they're just the best, I think. And so I'm going to use the thin die here to cut these guys out in no time. I'm using my We Are Memory Keepers uh, Revolution machine here. This is a new to me machine since I joined the We Are team and I really love this machine. I love the magnetic mat. It's so helpful for, you know, getting, not having your die move on you. Okay, so I'm going to layer up these guys at the bottom, the base of my photo. First, I want to adhere my photo down. And I haven't done that yet, so I'm just kind of putting a bit of adhesive using the Close to My Heart uh, tape runner behind my photo. I'm going to put some adhesive on the corners of these banners. I'm going to do red on the left, yellow in the middle, and then teal on the right side, and I'm going to slightly overlap those guys. Just gives it a little more texture and just another layer on there. I'm all about layers on this layout. Then I'm going to add my title to the top and most of the stickers that I pulled off of the sticker sheet, you guys saw me de-sticky them. Um, and that's because I want to use some dimensional adhesive on these guys. Again, I'm using scrapbook adhesives by 3L here, these little dots. And I never waste these sheets. I always cut them apart as well and use the strips once I'm done with the dots. So I use every single last little bit of them. But it really helps to have that extra lift to your embellishments and your title. It makes them stand out a bit more, makes them more dimensional. Adding that little phrase strip there, and I want that at an angle, and I'm going to cut a little notch on the end just to make it a little bit more interesting. Love that red heart. And that teal little uh, heart with rays coming out of it reminds me of the sun. I love the clouds. I feel like that that gives it a really playful feel too. And so those are going to get layered up on the edge of my photo so that they overlap the photo, as well as the kite. Super cute. One of my favorite photos, and I always, when I find a photo that I haven't scrapbooked yet, I'm always amazed at myself that I haven't done it, but it's my goddaughters and my daughter together. They had been playing and dancing and just having a great time and they kind of collapsed in the yard and that's when I got them together for a photo. So I'm using the stamp set again to add some stars in my embellishment groupings. First I'm using sapphire ink with the outline star. Then I'm using the solid star with the canary ink. So more yellow. Yellow is one of my favorite colors to scrapbook with ever. Um, it's just happy and this is, I mean, this color by Close to My Heart Canary is just one of the most beautiful yellows. It has such a pretty buttery tone to it. I just love it. So I added some stars there. Here's one of these uh, manufacturer strips there and it says The Good Life. There's a lot of green in my photo, not a lot elsewhere, so I'm going to layer that on top of my photo so that I'm not introducing green anywhere else. It's just kind of um, coming off of the edge of my photo there. Okay, lastly, I have all of these amazing little embellishments from Close to My Heart, and I still have the I Heart Us sequins, and the colors just work beautifully with the Blue Skies collection. So if you guys have these, rest assured that you can use them together. I'm using some teal, yellow, pink, and dark blue sequins to add about five sequins to my embellishment groupings just for a bit of sparkle and shine. And I just couldn't love this layout anymore. 
There are so many amazing little parts to the Blue Skies collection that I just love. The cut aparts, the pattern paper, the stickers. It's just so beautiful. And I really enjoyed creating this layout uh, using one of my favorite photos that I can't believe I haven't scrapbooked before to create this page starting off with that really fun sunshine and uh, patterned rays design. Hope you guys will give this layout a try and check out the Blue Skies collection at the link in my video notes. Thanks so much for watching. Happy National Scrapbook Day and happy creating.